Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland Welcome to Stress and Pain Relief Podcast Hope you're well uh, Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Now this is going to be a another practical session which will involve me talking you through it but will also involve you moving your hands so you can sit down in a chair make sure it's a comfortable chair that supports your body in the event that you fall asleep now this isn't you know necessarily a sleep recording but um There will be, you know, there, there's two different recordings. One will be with music, one will be without music. So if you listen to the one with music, then you can just become even more relaxed and drift off to sleep. So you don't necessarily have to be in a chair. You could be sort of lying down on a bed, but it will involve you moving your arms up um, and have you using your hands okay but it's not you're not going to be using your hands a lot okay you're not doing a a shadow puppet show or anything like that you're not you know it's not a lot of movement um i realized that some people may have issues with the hands may you know painful or anything like that then i suggest not doing this uh session although if you listen to it you can imagine using your hands and you can imagine doing it in your mind doing the same process and it may work exactly the same so the important thing is to remember that you're listening to this because you expect results. You expect and you want to feel different to how you're feeling now. You expect to feel more relaxed. And if you're listening for, you know, to reduce your chronic pain, you're expecting for that physical discomfort to reduce that's why you're here let's face it and my job is to provide that to you and the more you listen to these recordings the easier you find that you automatically feel more relaxed when you hear my voice maybe it gets to the point where just by pressing the play button you start to feel that sense of comfort spreading through your body or even the idea of listening to recording by me may cause your mind to calm down to become a bit slower now I'm going to go through what the process is first tell you what we're going to do and then we're going to do it okay so it just make it a little bit easier so you know beforehand so there are no surprises other than how relaxed and calm you can become but then that might not be a surprise if you've listened before because if you have listened before you'll know that listening to my voice following my instructions you will feel more relaxed and calmer And when you feel more relaxed, 
Of course, the stress reduces, maybe disappears altogether. And any chronic pain feelings also reduce and perhaps disappear altogether. So if you're listening and you've listened before, then you already know this. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening. So you kind of know what to expect in a sense of results. Now, what tends to happen is the more often you listen to me, the stronger those results seem to be. And sometimes you don't even need to complete the technique in order for the overall comfort to fill your body and mind. Part of that may be because, you know, I, I, I do talk fairly slowly. And some people may be a little bit impatient. And which is okay because ultimately all will happen is you'll become relaxed quicker. Because you'll be thinking, oh, come on, Jason, you're taking too long. I'm just going to do it myself. And you'll just skip forward and allow your body to let go and allow your mind to let go of everything so that nothing bothers you at all. It's all gone. There isn't anything in the world that could affect you whilst you're listening to me. This is your safe space. This is your time, your time to just let go and to enjoy that sacred safety and comfort which you own. This belongs to you. And nobody can affect or take it away from you. This is yours. And you can experience more of this uh, just naturally over time. Because it's almost, you know, if you walk, if you get into a swimming pool and you get out of the swimming pool, even if you just dip yourself into it, into the shallow end and just get back out again. You may not have swum anywhere, but you're still wet. So you may say, well, I've not benefited, but you still have got wet. So you take some of that swimming pool with you. And you're affected by it because you're wet. And by dipping into this healing energy of, of deep, deep relaxation, you take that healing energy with you. So even when you open your eyes and you go on about your life, you still got that with you. So you've you've got wet, you know, you've you've dipped into that healing energy and it's still on you. You take some of it away with you. It almost becomes part of you. That deep relaxation, that deep healing that comes from letting go completely. And allowing your body just to get back to normal. And by normal I mean just get back to its the way that you were born to be. Which is relaxed and calm. In the same way as falling asleep. Babies sleep so easily. 
literally a baby can fall asleep while they're eating which isn't a good idea really generally but especially if you're in a restaurant and it's Valentine's Day but forgetting that you have these natural abilities within you all the time anyway So now that your body is relaxed a bit more than it was, I'm going to ask you to focus on two different parts of your body. One part of your body is the part where you're feeling either stress or that physical discomfort. Okay, now if you've got stress or physical discomfort and more than one part, try, just focus on one part, okay? Just maybe the the one that's the the most obvious one, the, the one that feels the maybe the worst out of the lot. So I want you to kind of put a like a little ring around that in your mind, you know, a little cross on it. So you know where it is. Not that you're going to forget, but you know, so it's there. And now I want you to focus on a part of your body that feels really, really relaxed. So it could be anywhere. Your eyes, your forehead, your, your chest, your stomach. Uh, maybe your thighs, your toes, your feet, just a part of your body that feels relaxed. In fact, if the part of your body which has discomfort felt the same as that part of your body that feels relaxed, you wouldn't even be listening to this in the first place because you wouldn't have any discomfort. It's almost like those two parts are part of a jigsaw puzzle and no, both those parts are exactly the same shape, the same size and the same shape. Imagine that jigsaw puzzle there, both the same shape and they're both the same size and both the same color. Maybe just the color of his skin. And you start to realize that there's a lot of similarities between the two. If they're both the same shape, so you literally could take one out and swap it with the other if you wanted. And it'd fit perfectly. In fact, that's what we're going to do. Take each piece out. So take the, the part which is you know, the unpleasant feeling and take out the jigsaw piece of the pleasant feeling, the relaxed feeling and swap them over and put them in. Just notice how weird that feels. It's a very strange sensation because even though they fit, they kind of don't fit at the same time. It feels unusual. So let's swap them back again. I put them back to how they were. So swap them back, put them back. And isn't it strange how you can feel a sense of comfort in the familiarity, in the familiar? Yet that part of your body that jigsaw part of the puzzle 
in the part which was discomfort now feels doesn't it feel different maybe just a little bit different Take them out again and swap them over again. This time we're going to focus and put them in and focus on the part which uh, is normally relaxed and calm. And notice how that part feels with that uh, irritable part. That irritable part of the jigsaw put into there. Notice that even though that part is in there, it's the same shape, the same size, the same color, it, it can't have the same feeling as it did before. Maybe it's because the rest of that area, or no, all those other pieces of the jigsaw puzzle around, surrounding that one piece, has no connection to anything but just calmness. Now focusing on that area which was, you know, irritable or had discomfort before with that relaxed piece of the jigsaw puzzle in that area now. Focus on, on how that feels. Notice how it almost disrupts it. It doesn't it doesn't feel right, but it doesn't feel unpleasant either might actually feel nice. It's added a different energy, maybe a coolness. And the longer it's in there, the more of an effect it has. Almost like a neutralizing effect. swapping them back to how they were originally so you've got the really relaxed part of the jigsaw puzzle in the really relaxed part of the body and you've got the other one where it was originally as well now focus on that part that was originally that used to be irritable and used to have discomfort notice how it feels now Notice how it feels different. Noticing the level of relaxation has increased. relaxation has increased. Now I want you to take them both out again. This time I want you to hold them in your hands, put your hands in the air, don't have to be like right in the air, but just, you know, you've got one in one hand, one in the other, one piece of the jigsaw puzzle. And what you're going to do now, because at the moment you know which is which. What's going to happen when you don't know which is which? Because they both look the same. They both have exactly the same shape. So I want you to just put your hands together in a ball and just shake your hands. 
so that the pieces shake around. Now if the pieces are really big, I like to imagine just putting them into a bag and shaking the bag. Whatever you need to do to shake them up. But you can't see which one is which because they're moving around and you know, you're blind to the movement. You can't see what's happening. And then you pull your hands apart and you know, you just have one in each hand. Which is which? I don't know. They both look the same. They both have the same shape exactly. They both have the same color exactly. They both have the same weight exactly. They look identical. So which one do you put in which part of your body? And does it matter? That's the question, isn't it? Does it matter? How will you know which one has which particular feeling or has the feeling changed? Has having them touching each other and rolling around, has that changed the feeling, the connection? I don't know. Maybe we can do something else. Maybe imagine getting a tap and just rinsing them under a tap, washing them under a cold tap, both of them together, and just allowing it just to dry off. Maybe drying off with a towel. Has that changed the way they are? Can you now tell which one is which? No, they're the same. They're exactly the same. Okay, so what do we do? So you, you need to put them back because they are part of the jigsaw puzzle of your body. So you've got two gaps, two holes that need to be filled with these identical shapes, identical colors, identical everything. Let's see what happens when we just put them back anyway. Just just choose which one because we don't know which is which. So it's a case of just choosing one in your right hand and one in your left hand. So what we can do, and instead of putting it back into our bodies, we can just push our hands together, okay? And when you push your hands together, both of those pieces will just randomly fill back into the parts of your body, into that jigsaw, completing the jigsaw. And it'll just be random. The pieces will just go wherever. Because there's no way of knowing which one goes in which. So you can decide even yourself, your right hand, your left hand. You could say, well, my left hand is going to go into the part which was used to be problematic, the other part, the deeply relaxed part, uh, the even more relaxed part than the other, will be in my right hand. And you're going to push your hands together. And when your hands go together and they touch, those pieces will then be inserted into the jigsaw puzzle of your body and they will be connected and completed. So your hands can be maybe five inches away from each other, maybe shoulder length even. And I want to count down from 10 down to one. I want to get to one. As I, as I count, your hands will get closer together naturally. And as I count to one, your hands will come together. And then your hands will just fall to your lap or fall to your body, you know, hands will just fall down, causing your body to relax even deeper. So get ready with your hands apart, facing each other, 
counting from 10 down to 1, your hands can just move together. So when I say 1, your hands will meet and stick together, causing those jigsaw puzzle pieces to be inserted back into your body randomly, one in each place, but you don't know which. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Together and drop. Noticing how much more relaxed you feel, how much calmer you feel. So peaceful. It's really nice just to feel so peaceful. And you can just physically do a, do a body scan, noticing how you feel in your body, the different parts of your body, noticing the changes that have occurred. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.